Hi, this is Bishop Frank Dupre with another drive-by message. I want to talk to you today about the power of the Holy Spirit and humility. You know, one of the things about the baptism of the Holy Spirit, it gives us power, it gives us authority, it gives us a sense of empowerment, and it gives us the ability to do things. The power of the Holy Spirit is what gives you creativity and a lot of other things that you may have them in the natural, but the power of the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit brings you to a whole nother level. Now, uh, I talked about how uh, in order for them to get men to the moon, they had to get a concentrated fuel to break past the barrier of gravity and how the baptism of the Holy Spirit it gives us that concentration of the power of God for us to break through the barrier of our flesh. You know, because that's the thing that holds us down. Just like the rockets were held back from by gravity, they couldn't get into outer space. They had to break through that. And we have to break through our own flesh, the carnal desires, the carnal nature, all those things that are a part of our physical life and the things that we struggle against. You know, as new creations in Christ, we now have a new nature and that nature says that we can do the things that God wants us to do. But then there's the old nature, the, the mind that we have needs to be renewed. We still think the same old way. We still have the same old habits. We need the power of God to break through. So that power of the Holy Spirit gives us that concentrated anointing to bring us through and burst us through. But now something else happens. You see, a lot of times people, they get that power of God and then the next thing you know, they get filled with pride. And they think, you know, well, I can do this and I have this gift and I have that gift and, and I can do this and do that. And they fail to realize that without humility, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, they don't bring out a lasting change in lives, in our own life especially. And using this aspect of this example of rockets, let me remind you, when they sent men to the moon, before they could get them to come back into our atmosphere and return home safely, they had to develop a specific kind of tile to put on the spaceship, to put on those rocket ships. That tile was a ceramic tile that would withstand the heat. I call that tiles of humility because we get burst out, we get broken out, we, we begin to do great things in God. And the next thing you know, like I said, people get filled with pride and they think who they are. Without that ability to come back into the natural world, to come back with people and live among people and to do it naturally, be supernaturally natural, we end up just walking in pride. And pride goes before a fall. And that's the problem that happens. So many people get filled with the Spirit. They begin to move in the Spirit. They begin to walk in the gifts of the Spirit. And the next thing you know, they begin to fall. And then their ministry is lost. Their church gets lost. Their marriages are broken up. Things like that happen. But if you've got tiles of humility, if you're covered with humility, you can come back from that realm of the supernatural and come back here and walk in this world and be a light to people in this world and your life will make a difference. So my prayer for you today is that you'll understand that you need humility no matter what you do. Remember what Jesus said, come and learn of me, for I am humble in my heart. And he was the greatest and did miracles and was able to do all these different things by the power of the Holy Spirit. And if we will allow God to work humility in our lives, for God always lifts up the humble and puts the proud down, for me, I want to be lifted up by God. So I'd rather be humble. I'd rather put myself down and be humble and let him lift me up so that I can be effective. Amen? So I hope you want to be effective too, okay? Don't forget, you can go to my website, uh, www.frankdupre.com, and then you can get information about the ministry, get other videos, different teachings, and things like that. In the meantime, God bless you, and I hope that you've been touched by this message today. Goodbye now.